Hello, my animation students. We're coming down to the last stretch of our course. You've done all the exercises in your textbook, and now you're going to put together all that you've learned into creating a simple little animation. This animation will be two scenes, and you can do it both two different ways, and I'll show you that in just a second, too. The purpose of this video is just to get you started. The first thing we're going to do is look at uh, animate, or you may still have the flash, and start the file and take a look at where some things are in that file that you'll need to use. And then I'm also going to take you to Illustrator to show you where you can find some symbols, some little pictures and stuff. I don't know if you're like me, but I do not draw very well, and I need to have something already made. And Illustrator is used a lot in um, animation and web technologies, so this is something new that wasn't in your book. So let's just get started. I'm going to go to Animate, and yours may say Flash up there, and I've just opened it. If you don't have a window similar to this, then you can also get it by file, new, and it opens up here too. Either way, you will click on Action Script 3. That's what I want you to use. Or I can click on it here. So I'm going to click on Action Script 3. And if you'll take a look, on this window, remember I went File, New, on this window, I can change the width and height of my stage leave the pixels as they are and leave your frame rate as it is and I could change the color here but I'm just going to go ahead and start it with these default settings because in once you're on your uh, animation you can change these in the properties panel so I'm going to click OK here it is now what I've got is this window and you've seen this a lot already do you notice a scene one up here Let's see, I only have one scene. We'll get into that in a few minutes. Right now my screen, or my stage, this is called the stage, is white. Here is my timeline. Timeline, right here. I'm actually in Essentials up here. That's where I'm at, Essentials. Matter of fact, let's uh, reset Essentials. I think that's still the same. Yes. Oh, theirs is a little different from mine, but that's okay. That's okay. Now I'm in Essentials, and we can move this back over. Nope, that's like mine. Okay. If I want to change the, the stage, this is my properties. Okay. It's out here. My stage is white. I think I'm going to have a scene where there's some green grass, and a blue sky. So right now I can change my stage. I'll do the blue. I'll do a blue sky. Okay. And here's where you could change the size of your stage if you want. I'm going to leave it the way it is. And it says here that yes, I'm in, I'm in Action Script 3. Okay. Now talk about the layers. This first layer back layer, I want you to double click it and call it background and you can hit return. That's the background layer. Everything that's going to stand still that is on the background I will put on this layer. Now I will also come down here do a new layer and name it actions. A-C-T-I-O-N-S and hit return. This layer is where you're going to put all your actions. Now between the background and the actions layer is where you're going to put your animated objects. So I'll just create another little couple of them in between. Just remember to always have actions on the top layer and your background down here. Now I don't have anything on these yet, uh, but I've got the layers set up. 
Now, we're going to have to put some time to this animation. And if you go on the timeline, let's see, I've got 24 frames per second. Let's see, 100 of them will be, 100 frames will be uh, uh, 24. <laughs> well, let's go out to maybe 200. What I'm going to do there is just at the top, I will click, or back here on the 200, I will click and drag down across those layers. That's selecting those last frames at 200 of all those layers. And then right click and say insert frame. That's how you add time to all of your layers. So I've got these layers and there's the frame. I've gone out 200. Now later on we'll probably add more frames but right now this is a uh, oh wait let's let's do it to 240 or to uh, 240 240 here we'll do it at 240 and I will right click and say insert frames okay that's 10 10 uh, seconds 240 frames that'll be 10 seconds okay I'm gonna be on my background layer and remember I told you I wanted to do some grass down here, I will get a rectangle tool. And I will just go ahead and first of all, let's go in properties. I want it no stroke, so I will go to none. And the fill, I want green grass. I want some nice green grass. Uh, let's do bright grass. I'm going to do this really bright. Now, I've got my rectangle tool, and I use just the regular rectangle, okay. Now, I will just go ahead and drag a rectangle here for some grass. There we go. Now, let me get my selection tool and click on it. Hmm, that's not a symbol, but it doesn't have to be a symbol. Um, because it's on my background. Okay, so there's my grass. Now, I think that's all I want on my background, so I will go ahead and lock that layer. There's a little lock button here. There we go. Now, I need something to be moving. I need an animation here. Need some kind of an animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to Illustrator. This is what it looks like when you first open it. And just go File New. And don't worry about what it is. Just It can be Custom Profile, whatever. All I need is a page. There's my page. The next thing I need to show here is I will go to Windows. And I want the um, the symbols palette. Oh, it is out here somewhere. Oh, just a minute. Let me bring them over here so you can see them. This is the symbols. This is the symbols palette. Okay. Those symbols. Nah, eh, that's not all I want. So if you're in the symbols palette, go to this drop-down menu and open symbols library. And here's all these different libraries. All of them. Now, we can take a look at some of these celebrations. Oh, that's sort of cool. Now, they open up in another window, but and they haven't shown up here unless you click on one. That's kind of cool. I think I will drag a balloon out and put it right there. And you notice it showed up here, too. So there's a balloon. That's kind of cool. Let's go look and see if there's something else here. Open Symbols Library. Let's see, how about Primitive? Nah, let's try something else here. Let's open Symbols Library. Let's look at um, Retro, maybe? No, there's not a person. What I'd like to find is a person. So I'm going to go ahead and open Symbols Library again. And I'm trying to think, here's fashion. 
No, that's not what I want. So let's go look for another one. Symbols. Notice how there's a lot of stuff here. Um, let's see. Um, we'll try retro. Oh, we already tried retro. Let's go find another one. Open symbols. Um, tiki. Here we go. Now I've got some people here. And I might want uh, this man. That's kind of cool. I'll click and drag him there. Uh, I might want, there's a girl in here too. Here's a girl. I like her. And I like the cat. The cat's really neat. Okay, there's a cat. And that's, that's all I'll do for this sample. So, what I'm going to do is let's get the balloon. Click on it. Go Command or Control C. Or you could right click here and say Copy. Oh, no, it doesn't say Copy. Okay, so you click on it and go Control or Command C. Now let's go back to Flash and go File play, or Edit Place. We'll just place it in the center. Okay. See, it's coming. It's coming. It'll show up in the center. Okay. Now, I will select everything here, but don't select paste as bitmap and go OK. So there's my balloon. Now I can go to library and my balloons right in this these folders. Here's uh, illustrated symbols. There's my balloon. There's my balloon. Okay. Now I can actually take the balloon off of the screen and let's look in the library. He is still there. Now let's go back to Illustrator and get the others. So I'll get this man. Go Command or Control C for copy. Go back to Flash and go Edit, Paste, and Center. That's our Paste and... Nope. Let's go Paste and Center. Edit, Paste, and Center. Now it takes a little while. Everything's selected except paste as bitmap. Go OK. There he is. Let's check in the library. Yes, there he is. Male figure. Here's the balloon. OK, we'll take him off too. Let's go do the other two. Let's get the other two. In Illustrator, I will get the woman. Command or Control C to copy. Now, in animation, you should be able to go Control or Command V and get him in too. So there it is. It's the same window as when I went Edit, Paste, and Center. So let's go, okay, there she is. And let's check the library. Yes, she's in there. There she is, right there. Now let's go get the last one. Illustrator. The cat. I like the cat. Command or, cop or uh, Control C to copy. And let's go Control V or Command V and go uh, paste. There they are. So I'm going to take them off of the screen. Okay. Now, these are all on different levels. They gave me a bunch of layers here too. Let's go ahead and put my actions at the top because we always want that on top. Now, background. Layer three. I'm going to I'm going to get my let's see. I think I will get the man out first. I will get him out first. And I'll put him right there. And then on layer four. I'll go ahead and bring the woman out. Okay, she's right there. And then this layer, there's a bunch of layer ones, so let's see here. I want to get the balloon. I want the balloon. Okay, I want the balloon. And then layer, the next layer, I want the cat. Uh, let's see, the kitty's in here. He's right in here. The cat. Ah, just a minute, guys. Ah, 
I want the cat. Here we go, the cat. And put him in. There we go. Now I've got all my symbols on here. I'm going to get rid of this layer that's extra. I'm going to get rid of that layer that's extra. Now let me close my eyeball here and let's close all these eyeballs because I want to know what I've got on this. Layer 3 is the man so I will double click and write man and hit return. Then the next layer is the woman so click on that layer and call it woman okay now the next layer is the balloon so I'll double click it and call it B-A-L-L-O-O-N and then that last layer is the cat so I'll click on it double click say cat and hit return there we go now I'm going to uh, rearrange these people. I'm going to put the man over here. I'm going to put the woman here. I'm just going to let the cat stand by the man. No, do you know what? Yeah, I'll let the cat stand by the man. And I will actually make the cat smaller. Let's, uh, first of all, let's put the balloon. Let's put the balloon in his hands. Well, he's got a martini. We'll put the balloon right there in his hands. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is the cat's kind of big. So let's click on the cat and when you click on the symbol it automatically selects the layer. Now when you come over here and you go to the third tool down, it's the free transform tool. And I can go with the shift key, drag on the corner, make that kitty a lot smaller. And I can move him around. And if he's the way I like him, go ahead and get the selection tool. All right. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead. And I don't want it to take 10 seconds for them to move and meet. So there's about 25, I want to take it about a set, about five, nah, let's put about 75. On this, on all of these layers here, the ones that I'm going to animate, oh, excuse me, I'm going to select that one, hold the shift key, select, oops, I guess we can only do it on one at a time. I'm going to select there at 75 and right click and say insert keyframe. Insert keyframe. Going to do the same thing here, the next one on the balloon at the 75 uh, frame, 75th frame. Insert keyframe. I'm going to do the same thing here. Woman. Insert keyframe. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Man, insert keyframe. Now, I'm going to get on the man's layer. And right here, just double click to where it's, well, just select between the frame zero and this. And go right click and say create motion tween. Do that with the other layers too. Click on the layer in between where your keyframe is and at the beginning and say insert create motion tween. And let's do it for the balloon. Insert create motion tween. And also for the cat. Create motion tween. Now my layers are there. And my tweens. My motion. That's the animation, but we haven't animated anything yet. This man, when he gets to this point, that point, I want him to move over to the center. Okay? Also, the cat, when the cat gets to this point, right here, I want the cat to move with the man, okay? But do you know what I'm going to do with that cat? 
I'm going to make him jump around. That cat's going to jump around. I'll make him jump first because he got scared. It's kind of cool. I found the path, and so I just used the arrow and moved it. So my cat and my man are animated. Now the woman, when she gets to that point, I want her to come closer to the man. Okay. Now, let me back up here about the balloon. The balloon's going to get away from the man about here. So let me click on the balloon one. Let's uh, get them. We'll let the balloon get away from the man just about. Oops. Don't. Okay. The balloon is there. And I want it to start taking off. Okay. He will have gotten away from the man at the beginning. I think I will have the balloon go out like this. Okay. And then the balloon kind of stays there. Uh, let's go over here and let's let my balloon come back down and up here and away. Pretty cool, huh? So, now let's see what this animation looks like. I'm going to hold the return or hit the return key. There it is, and the cat's jumping around. Pretty cool, huh? So let me stop it. Pretty cool. How you test this is you go to Control, Test Movie, Inanimate, or yours might say Flash. There it goes. The cat was jumping. Pretty cool, huh? That should help you get started with some of your animation. Now, remember the actions? I'm going to actually scroll up here to actions. At this point, right here, let's see if this guy is there. Oh, okay, they're there. Okay, at this point, I want to create a stop. I want it to stop there, right there where everything ended, right there on that 74th frame. So I will just go to Window, Actions, and all you have to do is type, well, you can also go here, um, Code Snippets, Action Script, Timeline Navigation, Stop at this frame. Time will stop at that frame. Do you know what? You can even get rid of this text. All you need is that stop right there. Okay? Or you could just type it there. Now, let's see what happens. I'm going to stick my actions over here so I can get them anytime I want. Now, let's take a look and see what it's going to do. Control, te test movie, and animate. There they are. And it stopped. It stopped there. That's where it stopped. Now, my movie actually, everything, there's still more to the movie here. There's nothing else there. There's more to the movie. That was one little scene. Now, at this point, I can take everything off of there at this point. Uh, oh, I forgot to show my uh, background layer, too. Sorry about that. But at this point, I can actually put a keyframe here and change the background, add new animations, uh, whatever I want, and from there till the end is actually another scene. From there to the end. Remember, I started with 240 frames. And at 75, I created some um, keyframes, and I animated my uh, objects, the man, woman, balloon, and cat, on the 74th. I put an action script there. 
Here it is. A stop at that frame. Now, it will not move on unless we put a button here somewhere to click to the next scene, but I'll show that in another video. I hope this helps and gets you started. And maybe you can get this far with your uh, animation by the end of this week. That would be wonderful. Thanks.